Good, good morning, good afternoon. Brother Justin is first. Oh, Sister April, you just missed it. Sister April is usually first. I'm surprised that Justin uh, was first today. I think that's the first time you've been first. <laughs> I beat you. Oh, man. Hello, Brother Justin, Sister April, Psalms, hello, hello. Greetings, everyone. Just give it a couple minutes, let people come on. Got something cool about XRP if you haven't been watching the news. Sarah, shalom, shalom. Peace, peace. May the peace of God be with you all. Debenders, hello. All right, people are starting to trickle in now. Brother Wayne, what's up? God bless you, man of God. Sandy, good morning. T-Bond. Good morning. LL, hello. Hello, everybody. Still trying different times. Hey, Brother Adam, hello. Riddle and XRP, good morning. Yeah, it's 1118 where I am. Hopeful Melody, hello. All right, people are popping on. Beautiful and sunny where I am in Texas right now. It's always a blessing. Ontario, wow. Shout out to Canada. You guys are dealing with a lot of the same stuff we're dealing with in the States. Maybe worse. We got to pray for Canada. We pray for revival in Canada. Riddle XRP watching as I work. All right, all right. You might, you might get into a shout in the office or wherever you're working today. Hey, Deem, South Africa. God bless you. South Africa is in the house. Brother James, good afternoon by you. It is still morning by me. We're probably about an hour off. It's 11.18, 11.19. Hey, Erica, hello. Good morning. Sub subs, Indonesia. Wow, so you're probably in the evening already at least, maybe even the early morning hours. Jesus rules, hello. Just had a Sheba, Brother James said, just had a Sheba vision and text me. Okay, I will take a look at it. Uh, uh, all right, let's see. Here I am again. Wow, that was weird. That was weird. I don't know what I hit, but it it took me out of this uh, stream yard. Uh, Bono Fiotro is real. Is what real? Carbon tax protest needs super. Hope familiar. The, oh, is it real? Uh, the carbon tax protest needs supernatural protection. Wow. All right. Jesus' name, we pray supernatural protection over these protests in Ontario, in Canada, in Jesus' name. Living Fries got down, got downsized on my phone so I can still use my map. All right, all right, real next RP. It's 11 at night in Indonesia. Wow. Hey, Sister Jill, welcome, welcome. Brother James, I'm going to take a look at the text. Uh, is it okay if I read it out? Oh, wow. Huh. Old Rounder Bro. Good morning. God bless you. 
All right. All right. Brother James sent me a word here. He said he saw three or four young dogs around a hidden entrance, in, entrance tunnel to escape. Heard Sheba dogs. Just watched The Great Escape last night, the trailer. The men dug tunnels to escape and had hidden entrance, entrances in the camp. Wealth transfer bonus. The escape leader was Big X. As I say, Chris Hartman, I look at 10X right here. <laughs> wow. Wow. Chris, I want to read that in one second. Let me get to this. Let's just try to figure this one out. So Brother James just sent a, a vision he had. Three to four young dogs around a hidden entrance tunnel to escape heard Sheba dogs. So the dogs are ready to get let out. Three or four dogs. I wonder, is Doge, Doge a Sheba dog as well? They look very similar. Um, the men dug the tunnel and escaped hidden entrances in the camp. The escape leader was Big X. We've seen X's everywhere. I'm still seeing X's everywhere. And I just, I pray to the Lord and he's just not fully revealing it to me. I believe it's definitely X cross crossing over. We're definitely crossing over. Um, I want to I want to talk about prayer a little bit today. God is showing me some cool things. Uh, hey, J.K., I see you on there. Uh, all right, all right. Bonner Bonerge. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Yeah, I, I wanted to I wanted to share something that I pulled up. And we'll see if we can verify it um, on XRP. I'm going to do that in two minutes. Let me just shout out everybody else. Marin, good morning. God bless you. Um, Chris Hartman, what's up, brother Chris? I I heard Bricks spoke in the spirit this AM. Also, a Christian I watched said Dodge will 10X to $2 soon. Yeah, there's something going on with Dodge. I got my eye drawn to Dodge for some reason. I don't think I've had any visions or dreams, but... I'm thinking about just getting some because it, I, I, it caused me to do some. I've never, guys, I've never looked up Dodge before. I know um, a legit prophet. It's a close friend of mine's father. And we connected through XRP because the Lord showed him that uh, the word he got was God was going to greatly, greatly, uh, increase xrp so he's been holding xrp for years and he said you know greg I, I started telling him about luna and he bought luna and luna took off in the very beginning when god told me about luna luna took off it had a nice little run um i think it you know, I, I think it might have dropped the zero to it you know i forget but and he said so i remember he got some luna and, and he was happy about it. he said the only other coin that god revealed to him was was Dogecoin. He's like, I know Dogecoin's going to do something. God never revealed Dogecoin to me. If you guys have anything with Dogecoin, feel free to, to type it in right now because something's going on with that coin. And I, I did some research on it yesterday, just, you know, some some channels, some people that uh, seem to be legit. And people have seen that coin go over $1,000. So it's like, all right, maybe just maybe I'm going to grab a 1,000 Dogecoin and just leave it in a wallet. You know, I think a 1,000 Dogecoin is like 20 cents. Uh, like $200, something like that. So for me, I would have to sell a little bit of Luna or Shiba or something to do that. But I'm, I'm praying about it. But Chris, it's interesting you put this in because it was just yesterday that I started getting into Dogecoin. Um, you know, and then I think, I'm like, all right, God, really the, the last two coins that God showed me was XLM and and Luna again. Uh, I want to see if, if um, I said I would shout him out. Shout out to Brother Victor. And uh, he sent me, he sent me a guy, brother Dan, that was on yesterday, and he has a, he has a, you know what? I'm gonna shout him out now. I told him I would. He's got a channel. I don't know how new it is, but if we could help him out, I went on. I said, hey, I, and I, I thought he was on. I thought he was on the channel yesterday, and I said, um, I said, you know, it's interesting. I had a, you know, I had a lunatic. Dream, uh, I, the Lord showed me Luna also. He said, no, I was on your channel this morning and 
it, it stirred him up to make his video because the Lord also showed, showed him Luna as well. I'm going to put it on here. You guys give his channel. I told him I'd give him a shout out. Um, you know, it will be a blessing to his channel. You know, I encourage some of you. It's not everybody's calling, but step out in faith. If you feel like you got stuff to share and, um, you know, if you feel that's a calling of yours, and we'll be happy to, you know, help you grow your channel. I'm, I, I, this isn't all about me and growing my channel. I know God's led me now. We're a little different now. You know, we're we're going a little more church style. But, you know, some people I want to put out videos, encourage people, whether it's crypto or, or whatever. However God's leading you, this this is the, this is a new way. I'm not saying the new way, right? But it's it's a new way that God has been using, and we've seen it really magnified since COVID when, when there were all these lockdowns um, that God was really using uh, – YouTube and and uh, um, you know these different venues to have meetings and uh, and so on and so forth. You know how many more people do you know now? Maybe some of a lot of you are, are working from home now. You know since the pandemic, and you know we have the technology to do that. So um, all right, I'm going to get to these comments in a second, but I want to share with you guys. Hold on one second. I don't know if, if Brother Dan is on here, but this is his channel. You guys help him out. Give him a follow. Uh, let's see. You know, I thought I... Oh, man. I thought I... There's an area where I, I copy and paste stuff so I could bring it on here. And I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Let's see. I want to pull it up. I want to pull it up. Um, I want to copy. I just want to send you guys a link. He has a nice little video. He got a little confirmation on, on Luna Classic, and I think it'll bless you guys. So, yeah, there it is. I sent it to myself on here. I don't know why it's not coming up. Oh, there it is. I'm sorry. I was on the wrong thing. Copy link. Um, all right. And this is Brother Dan. He was on yesterday with us. All right. Shout out to Brother Dan. All right. Let me go. Let me just come through some of these and. Uh, let's see where there. Say hi to everybody. T Bond, LL, hello. Brother Adam, hello. Uh, Erica, hello. Sub subs, April. Uh, okay, so I said hello to a lot of y'all. Um, let's see. Um, all right, so I shared what Chris put here about Dogecoin. Found the possible price for house only three minutes from our church praying. It's God's all right, Adam. Let's pray for you right now. This, this stuff's important. Uh, Brother Adam said, Found a possible property for a house, and it's at three minutes from our church praying. It's God's will for us, not my selfish desires. All right, Adam, we lift this up to the Lord. I mean, you got your mind in the right place, you're closer to church, so it doesn't sound like a selfish desire for me. This isn't like a fun toy or I like you need a house to live. You need a place to live. So in the name of Jesus, we pray that the Lord, we pray that his will be done in this house. If it is his will that the Lord would open that door for you, would give you favor. I ask blessings upon your finances with the move that God would shut every door that needs to shut, open every door that needs to open, that he would give you strong confirmation, that he would be giving, begin giving you signs even now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lionel, what's up, brother Lionel? Brother Dennis, God bless you. Uh, Brother Mary, God bless you. I got a teeny bit of Dodge Good Seed Coin. All right, Jill. I think I need to do the same. Uh, my King Yeshua shared an interesting video recently about bricks fulfillment. Mary, what did she say on that? I'm so, I just I watch very few videos these days. Uh, so many prophets have seen Dodge Coin top five coin in loans. Okay. Uh, he said Dogecoin will be seed money to put into XRP. It's about timing when the coin might go first and felt XRP still has some time before high prices. 
All right, Chris, thank you for that. Thank you, thank you. Um, do you plan on using Ripple Stablecoin when it comes out? And, hey, brother Anthony, God bless you. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't, uh, uh, we, we got to see how it all plays out, you know, because XLM is going to be right there as well. So, hey, Starburst, God bless you. Do you know anything about XDC? Um, XDC, yes. So XDC is an ISO coin. Um, it is the company Zinfin. They are in a trillion dollar industry. That is the coin for digital trading in a trillion dollar industry. So many of us like XDC. It's We call it it's one of the big three X coins, XRP, XLM, and XDC. It's definitely prophetic. People have put out price points on that, $20, $60. Um, if you get some and hold some, uh, you know, I think it's a good coin. You could swap for it on Tangem. It's hard to buy. I, I'm not, uh, I think I'm, I don't even know if I'm still allowed to trade on Uphold. Uphold has it. I just don't like Uphold. But you could trade for it on Tangem. Uh, April, pray, pray about that coin. I think it's a good one. Uh, Telegram group. All right, hopefully, Mel, let me, let me see if I can pull it up. Let me see if I could pull this up on Telegram group. Uh, let me just see. Okay, I got it. I got it. X that. Whoops, I didn't want to go there. Here's our Telegram group. Welcome all. Welcome. Join in. Uh, all right. Let's go back here. Uh, there's the hope for melody. Hope that comes through. I need to learn so much. Uh, let's dip at the moment. Good price, Mr. Clemson. Yeah, nice dip. You know, I saw something. Crypto Hulk put something out. I don't know. I'm just being careful what I watch. There was a coin that he said was replacing XDC. So I don't know what that's all about. And I thought about it. And I'm like, XDC has so many inroads already with the largest financial trade institutions on the planet. So I don't know how you just go and replace that. You know, it, the connect, they already have the connections. They're, they're already established. So do, do some research on XDC. I, I need to as well. Um, he believes XDC will outperform XLM and XRP. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Um, Mike. Hey, brother Mike. God bless you. Um, why are so many people prophesying about invasion and civil war? Do you think people are tapping into the second heaven and not God the third? Brother Mike, it could be. I'm not sure what that's happening. There's so many spirits out there. Listen, you could be watching the wrong stuff on YouTube and attract spirits. These things are portals. I'm, I'm, we're, we try so hard to be on top of our kids, like what they're watching, because even this harmless stuff. I mean, look at Disney. I mean, they're praying over this stuff. You know, I know these are portals. Nobody could tell me different. So I don't know who's bringing in some familiar spirits, and then all of a sudden, you know, if they're not living a life of separation and holiness. You are wide open to these spirits. I don't care what anybody says. I, if you're listening to too much worldly music, if you're, you know, indulging in in alcohol, and any of these things are open doors, I believe, for spirits to come in. So we got to be careful. I, I just, I don't, you know, even some of the ones I'm not going to say names. Even some of the ones that people love, I, I'm just like, mm, I don't know. I'm kind of just staying away, to be honest with you. You know. I need right now, I need to hear the word of the Lord for you all for, you know, as leading on here as pastoring on this channel. So I got to be careful now. I can't get my my uh, frequencies crossed up. I need Holy Ghost tapping and that's it. So I'm kind of cutting a lot of stuff out. Um, and uh, and here we are. So we're just going to keep seeking the Lord. I'm so thankful. I thank him every day for the people that he's healing. Like every couple of days we're getting testimonies of healings and answered prayers. And I thank God for that. And we must keep that going. That 
Money can't buy that. The wealth transfer can't buy healings. It can't buy answered prayers. You can't buy answered prayers. And to me, you know, that's that's the highest, you know, of course, seeing souls saved. Um, you know, but what, what did miracles do in the Bible? Um, look at the Lord operated in the word of knowledge and prophecy with the woman at the well. He said, go get your husband. I don't have a husband. You tell the truth. You had five husbands. And the one you're living with now is not your husband. And she runs back. She's so blown away. She leaves her water pot. The Chosen. If you haven't seen The Chosen, it makes me cry this part. They do such a good job with reading between the lines. Because he in Chosen, I mean, he like lays out a nice prophecy, word of knowledge. And she goes off crying. But but it's, it's biblical. She does go off. Come meet the man that told me everything about my life. And many were saved in Samaria. Or, or, I, I forget the exact word, but there was a major revival in Samaria because the Lord operated in the gifts of the Spirit. Gifts of the Spirit don't get you saved. The fruit of the Spirit gets you saved. The gifts of the Spirit, though, are needed in this hour. Becca, hello. Joshua, hello. Um, she said, there was different signs like fulfilled, like broken bridges in a sense. Bricks is ready for XRP, something in this direction. That time is right. Yeah, some uh, brother, brother Victor sent me, just sent me a video the other day. We were, he, he, we were going back and forth, lunar ship, which one's going first? And he sent me a video with her saying that Shiba Inu is going to go first. Who knows? But so she's saying that XRP is ready to go now. So. Uh, yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. It's the, everything's so close right now. That's how I see it. Just I'm not taking a chance. I'm holding all of them. I'm holding all of them and hoping that these other ones go so we could buy more XRP and XLM. But I don't want to keep sounding like a broken record. Hey, Michelle, God bless you. Definitely. Uh, all right, let's see what Sister Michelle says. The Lord spoke to me about Dogecoin. Definitely prophetic coin. The Holy Spirit told me a couple of weeks ago, right before it started going up, it was 13 cents. That's awesome. Thank you, Sister Michelle, for sharing that. Yeah, getting a lot of confirmation here with Dodge, uh, Dogecoin. Uh -oh. there, there was different sign for every BRICS country now all fulfilled. David, God bless you. Naomi, Casey, amen, amen. Aaron, Crypto Hulk doesn't know ever. No, he doesn't. Oh, he, he says just hold just XRP. Yeah, 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 I agree. I know he does a lot of good digging for XRP, but he'll shout out XLM and, X, and XDC as well, but uh, Dogecoin, that's all right, Michelle, Sister Michelle. Many are saying raptures. Uh, anyway, many are saying rapture is any day. Ruth said, "Yeah." So we know. I don't believe that. I there's too much work to be done, and we're going to do work until God calls us out of here. I'm not looking for an escape clause. I got hope that when the time's right, He's going to catch us away. But I don't know about you. I got too many unsaved family members. Today's a big day for my Uncle Jimmy's surgery. If he pulls, it, today's, today is the day. So I thank you all for praying. He made it till today. And I think that's a miracle. He's cut open. They're watching his organs. You know, they were saying his organs were dying, but we speak life over those organs. And they're closing them up today. And they're going to try to pull him out of a coma. So in the name of Jesus. Yeah, if we could just pray one more time for my Uncle Jimmy. Uh, his wife's a... Uh, reads the Bible, prays every day. My Uncle Jimmy just, you know, just lived the life like my grandfather, like a lot of my family, alcoholism. I got it on both sides of my family. He's a great guy. He's my favorite uncle. I got a lot of great memories with him. He's only 68 or 69. And uh, it's my mom's older brother. So let's be, I pray life with Uncle Jimmy right now. Lord, I pray the surgery is a success that they pull him out of this coma in the name of Jesus Christ and that a spirit of repentance will grab a hold of him. Lord, that you've showed him things while he's in a coma, that he'll come out and turn his life to you in Jesus' name. I ask, I speak mercy over Uncle Jimmy. I ask for mercy upon my uncle, Lord God. And you've already given him mercy. I ask, Lord, that you lay hands on him. I speak life and restoration in his liver, his kidneys, his pancreas, his heart, his lungs, his brain in the name of Jesus Christ. And I ask for another chance to speak to him about the gospel in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. 
Glory to God. Entertainment is definitely a doorway. Yes, it is. It is Harry Harry Potter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Have to guard the gates, Brother Wayne. Amen. Amen. Stay in your lane. Constance. Amen. Olga. Hello, Constance. Hello. Sorry to request early. Urgent. No, this, this is not early. I think I'm late on your request. It's 1141. What time did this come through? 1136. Okay, I'm five minutes late. JK, sorry to request early. Urgent need in a prayer team. Uh, urgent need. I'm in a prayer team for the Bay Area, so thankful to be interceding. Many of the team has been hit by sudden health issues or things stopping them from coming. All right, let's 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 lift up Sister JK and her prayer team in the Bay Area. I believe San Francisco Bay Area. Um, and okay, she's got another one. This morning I woke up with some really heavy, unexpected bleeding that hasn't stopped. I'm sorry, but need prayer. All right, JK, we lift you up right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We lift you up. We lift up this prayer team in Jesus' name. We bind that blood. We command the blood to stop now in Jesus' name in your body. We speak a covering over this prayer team. Lord, I ask that you send angels from your throne room, send angels, Lord God, to this prayer team. Shield them, guide them, give them favor in the community. In the name of Jesus, we bind every resisting spirit whether human or demonic, in the name of Jesus Christ, we cast it out. Lord, open this door for them. Help them to get through this open door in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak breakthrough over this team. I speak peace over this team. I pray that this team will intercede. You bless their health, their energy, Lord God, their stamina. In the name of Jesus, unify them, bind them together in the bond of love and the bond of peace. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak healing and deliverance over every one of them. In Jesus' name, we plead the blood of Jesus afresh over this team. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Praise God. I was able to go yesterday, Pastor G. All right. Hedrex, God bless you. Life is short. OJ Simpson died. Yep, I saw that. JK praying for you. God bless you. Sister Riley, God bless you. The whole, the whole town got saved in the name of Jesus. Constance, hopefully Dogecoin goes. It could be a very early seed coin. Yes, 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 yes. Who knows? At any moment, Elon Musk could drop. You, you know, he's talking about a payment system to take over the world. <laughs> you know, Dodge coins is coin. What, what do you think that would do to the coin? I, you know, my, my question is, does it have the technology? Is it is it a smart business move? I, you know, right away, you think, like, who wouldn't use XLM or XRP for something like that? He works with Jed McCaleb, right? Their partner is in another business uh, adventure. So... Oh, all right. Yeah, amen. Yeah. All right, let me skip down here. So much work. Praying. Amen, Corey. Amen, amen, brother Corey, preaching fire right here. Roll up your rapture rugs, brother and sister. Jesus ain't coming to get us anytime soon. We're here to take ground back from the enemy, establish the kingdom of God here on earth. Let's get to work. I'm in agreement. I do believe he's coming soon, but soon can be, you know, I I, I think I really from prophetic words, I, I don't think we got. And, and looking at the timing of the Bible, now this is just my opinion. This isn't a heaven or hell issue, but I, I think he could, he could come, you know, within the next 10 years. I, that's my personal take on that. Uh, praise God. My son out of nowhere. Who was an atheist said he started reading the Bible last week. I led him to salvage brother. I'm still reading the Bible this year. Amen. Ruth, amen. Keep working on your family. Pray that the Lord saves your entire family, he touches your husband, your son. He continues to work in their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. We claim their salvation in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. D Benders. Okay. Thank you for that, D Benders. Hulk. Made a mistake. Yep, sounds like it. Head to the doctor. Thankful for the prayers. JK, you're going to be good. You are good. Financial situation, we need so much every month. I've received prophetic words of family restoration. Finance is waiting on the Lord. Becca, I'm with you on this one. I'm with you on this one and many of us. So let's pray right now. I want to pray once again. This is a hot topic. 
Uh, but we know the Lord is going to come through. So, Becca, we lift you up. And everybody that's having financial difficulties right now that needs help getting their bills paid, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ that the Lord, would, Becca, would supernaturally bless you and everybody on here, that the Lord would bless our finances. I speak for our bills to get paid off, Lord. I ask our faith is the bridge to the supernatural. Lord, you have every payment, every bill. Lord God, your resources are endless. We ask that you pour out your resources upon each person on here today, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen. Constance, thank you. Thank you. Amen. Yeah, between these praying to see for my family. Don't ever give up. The Lord told me this was a year for restoration, healing, and deliverance. Ruth, awesome word. Thank you for that. Amen. We come in agreement with that word, Sister Ruth. Mike, you're welcome, Mike. Lord A's, hello. We come in agreement. Sister Allison, hello. Uh, vitamin B, vitamin K will help stop the bleeding. Cayenne pepper, some supplements for JK. Yes, yes, yes. He can make that's going to go currency just for a joke. <laughs> Marin, yeah, you're right. All right, all right. I would rather be looking for him to come back and be prepared. I don't want him to leave me without the king. Amen, Casey. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, Brother Ryan, I see you. It's time for Harvest First. I've seen stadiums filled with people turning to Christ. Yes, yes. I know many people that have a well, as well. Um, a brother that I did a couple of crusades with where I saw thousands of people healed, filled with the Holy Ghost, um, saved uh, in Muslim nations, um, saw Times Square filled us preaching at Times Square and thousands of people getting filled with God's spirit. So I, I'm, I'm in agreement with you, Brother Ryan. Wow. Continue to pray. Yes, yes, I believe. All right, all I see is job. Chris Hutton, all I see at my job was your store, a lost sheep, and I'm witnessing to them all, Joe. Wow, that's awesome, Chris. Awesome, awesome, awesome. This is what we got to do. Guys, this is our mission field. You go to the grocery store. You work at the grocery store. You go everywhere we go, you know, is our mission field. We got to look for opportunities. And uh, God's going to give us those opportunities. The Bible says be instant in season and out of season. Lionel, we received that. Lionel says he prays for everyone else live to be kingdom Financers, yes, we receive that. We will be kingdom financers. That's why I that's the Lord brought us together, and that's that's probably the first thing that he, first uh thing that he he's done to bring us together was through this, these Joseph callings. All right, awesome. All right, let me share a couple things, you guys. Then I want to, I want to, I got a word on prayer I want to share with you guys. Um. So people asking about bricks, and let me just share my screen. Just just a little couple of updates on XRP that I thought was interesting. I did a little piecing together, nothing crazy. Um, so here's the first one. So shout out to Jack the Ripper. I know some of these guys, some of their stuff isn't always, you know, sometimes they're a little over the top, but <clears throat> this bricks gold is on the XRP ledger AMM, right? He's not the only one to put that out. So this is interesting. And I'm going to tell you why this is interesting. We know already, right? I, I've done so much research on XRP. We, it, it's really, and, and with all these other coins moving, it's like, sometimes it is like a distraction. Um, and XRP and XLM aren't moving, but when they move, that's going to be it, I believe. Right? So, and here's what I found interesting. So I saw that, and then check this out. Check this out with uh, this next one here. Now this one, I don't know if it's legit, but I thought this was interesting. Breaking, so you guys hear about this? President Trump signing uh, bringing the U.S. into BRICS, breaking. We have joined the BRICS. 
Praise the Lord. Gold-backed currency. Now, this is what caught my eye. That's interesting. Who has the most gold in the world? The USA, the Constitution. You know, I, I don't really follow Q or anything like that. I'm not discrediting it. But to me, this was interesting because this was the second tweet that I saw when after we found out that gold is on the XRP AMM, automated market maker. I don't know. I thought that was interesting. So, um, and XRP just puts out a stable coin, right? It's like, I, I think things are unfolding right in front of our faces, guys. But we've been talking about this. We've been praying. We're prepared. Is it, you know, are we going to have another month or two to accumulate XRP? I, guys, I wish I had the answer for you. I really do. Sometimes I, I frustrate my mind trying to think about it. Um, but I just got to keep settling with just hold some, hold some, hold some XLM. I, I mean, I, I hold more XLM because I, I just always felt like that one is going to go first. But, um, but like we're at the door of something really big, like across the board. And and then you think too, like, hey, Brother Wayne, God bless you, Brother Wayne in Maryland. Um, yeah, Q is right half the time. I know. Listen, I don't follow Q. I don't, I'm not advocating for Q, but I found that interesting because that tweet came up um, because I saw some tweets about, about Trump signing us into the bricks. And I'm like, first off, what does Trump sign us into the bricks for? So that's interesting, right? And uh, I think a lot of us know know that. Um, but then this gold back currency, we know, I, you know, some some of the research I've been doing that XRP is always mentioned with the bricks. Now XRP comes out with a stable coin that's going to be pegged to the US dollar. Uh, XRP is about to win the lawsuit. Like, can you guys just see XRP just launching? Amen. All right. Anyhow. All right. Let me get into, I wanted to get into a little bit. Let me just pull up some, some notes here. I just want to talk for a couple of minutes on prayer. And then I want us to, to pray together because guys, I don't know, since the eclipse, has anybody been feeling some strong resistance? So guys, I never get headaches. If I get, if I take an aspirin once every three months for a headache, it's a lot. And I woke up today, my head was splitting like a weird headache. And I prayed and I prayed, you know, I got up at like a little after 4 a.m. And then I get the kids up at six, a little after six. Um, hopeful melody. Yeah, exactly. Right. Put two and two together there. <laughs> so I, I, uh, um, anyhow, I, I even took an aspirin and it didn't really even work. I still had the headache. I could still feel it a little bit now, but I'm, I'm better. My son also has a seeing gift, my 12 year old. And, you know, just, just been, we've just been going through it over here. Okay. Uh, Lao Fang, hello. God bless you, Randy. Hello. God bless you. So um, he comes down the stairs. And he's like, Dad, Dad. I'm like, what's now? Now, now, now it's like 6.30 in the morning, this morning. He's like, I just saw a huge spider, and it was in a web, and it was climbing down the wall. And I'm, I run down. I'm, I'm like, you know, I grab my napkin. I'm ready to kill it. And I'm like, wait, I've been down here for two hours. There's no spiders down here, you know? And um, Olga, there you go. Um, <clears throat> so he's like, no, he's like, I said, I think you had a vision. He goes, yeah, my eyes were wide open. I said, I think you had a vision. I said, you saw it. How'd you see? I said, how big was it? He said, it was like this big. He said, it was like, he said, it was a few inches tall. And he said, it was crawling on a web. I said, there's no webs down here. I haven't, I haven't seen a spider web since I came in this house in June, you know? And anyhow, so that's witchcraft. That's Jezebel. That was the source of my headache. I start praying again to come on here, guys. And, and this is why I want us to really, I want us to bind together and pray in a, in a little while because there's definitely something going on. And listen, there's no enchantment against Jacob. There's no divination against Israel, meaning they can't overcome us, but they attack us. So we don't just sit back and say, well, you know, 
Yeah, we got the victory, but we got to pray into some things. We got to fast. We got to, why do, why do we have the armor of God then? If Jesus already won it all, why do we have the armor of God? Because we still have battles to win. Um, the battle's already won. We still have fights to win. Let's let's say that, okay? Hey, Sister Shannon, God bless you. Wow. Okay, all right. So, Brother Chris, so a spider the other day in the spirit. It's witchcraft. It's Jezebel. Sister Shannon, that is me, Pastor Greg. I never get headaches. I'm getting one every day since the eclipse. So much, amen, so much going on in the spirit. Yes, Olga, amen. So that much more of a reason, y'all, we're going to intercede on here and we're just going to pray in the spirit. And we're going to pray for each other. I just want to share a couple things about prayer. Um, we know what prayer is, right? Prayer is just simply, uh, all right, hold on a second. Let me just, yes, yeah, been under attack. I pray peaceably, as Becca says. Ruth, I've been seeing. Hey, Juan, hello, God bless you. No way, I've been seeing spiders move around. I even thought I saw a mouse, and we have no my shadows. My son says he's having nightmares. My husband says he's sick. All right, guys. The demonic world, things are increasing in the end times, right? The Bible says a gross darkness is going to come, right? And that's demons. That's It's more than just dark outside. It's men's hearts waxing cold, waxing worse and worse, cold, right? But you think the Lord is just going to leave us like that? No, 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 no. With the increase of demonic activity is going to come the increase of anointing. You have a greater anointing on you right now. I have a greater anointing on me right now, and we're going to use it. So you, God has equipped us. It's just something, it's good to be aware of this, so we're not sitting in the dark. It's good to talk about this, but we're going to exercise our authority because we're stepping into a greater level of authority. God is not going to let the enemy increase and let his church decrease. <laughs> no way, not the God that we serve. Naomi, hello, God bless you, Prince. God bless you. So prayer is simple, communion with God. It's a two-way conversation. There's intercessor. There's memorial prayers. Acts chapter 10 says this. There was a certain man. I'm just going to make mention of this because the Lord showed me this this morning. And some of us, this is a place that we're at. We've been praying for years. We're talking about praying for family for years, right? There's some things that we pray about. We leave it with the Lord and we move on. But there's some things that we keep bringing before the throne of God. So I want to mention this before, and we're going to just switch direct, directions in prayer a little bit. Um, there was a certain man in Caesarea named Cornelius, right? Many of you know the story, familiar portion of scripture, a, centur a centurion of the band called the Italian band. First Gentile to get the Holy Ghost was an Italian. <laughs> A devout man, one that feared God with all his house, he gave much alms to the people and prayed to God always. He saw a vision, evidently about the ninth hour of the day, and an angel of God coming to him, saying unto Cornelius, unto him, Cornelius. And when he looked on him, he was afraid and said, What is it, Lord? And he said unto, unto him, Thy prayers and thy alms are come up for a memorial before God. I'm telling you now, some of your prayers that you've been praying for years for your family members or years for your situation are coming up before the Lord as a memorial. Hey, Ridge Mac, God bless you. These are memorial prayers. This is another type of praying. And now send men to Joppa and call for one Simon, whose surname is Peter, who has the keys to the kingdom. Why? See, I could get into a whole nother thing here, but I, I don't want to get into a debate. Here's a man that's praying, always giving to the poor. He's praying and giving. And yet God comes to him for his memorial prayers. God says, there comes a point in your praying that God says, now I got to move. There comes a point. I don't know if it's a week, a month, 
a year, five years, or 10 years, that memorial becomes fulfilled, that memorial prayer, and God says, now I have to do something. That's memorial prayers. This guy's been praying. He's a devout man. He feared God with all of his house. He gave alms, and he prayed to God always. And God says, there's something more for you. Now send man to Joppa, call for Simon, who's Peter. He lodgeth with one Simon, the tanner, whose house is by the sea. He shall tell thee what thou must do. What does Peter do in, in, tap, in, later in Acts chapter 10, verse 40? He preaches the gospel. What happens? The Holy Ghost falls on them. The, the, the Bible says the circumcision were astonished that the gift of the Holy Ghost was poured out upon the Gentiles. How did they know that? For they heard them speak with other tongues. Then Peter said, can any man forbid water? And he commanded them to be baptized. How? In the name of the Lord. Acts chapter 10 is so much in here. So much in here. But these are memorial prayers is what I wanted to talk about. And we are in a season, and God just showed this to me, and he gave me a word for myself, that our prayers and our alms have come up before a memorial before the Lord. Our prayers, years of praying. I've been praying for certain situations. I'm on eight years, and I believe God is answering it now. That our prayers have become a memorial, and God is going to move on them. So don't give up. Keep praying for your lost loved one. Keep praying for your situation. Keep praying for whatever you've been seeking the Lord about. Like I said, some, some of these prayers aren't one and done. We just continue to bring them to the throne of God. Continue. These are memorial prayers. And at some point, we don't know when that point is. You know what it is? It's like layaway, right? Layaway was a little bit before my time, but I, I know the concept of it. For those maybe 50 years old and over, maybe a little more familiar with layaway. But it was, you didn't have enough money to buy that television. But every week you went to the store and you put $10 down. You put $10 down. You put $10 down. You put $10 down. Week number five, you put $10 down. Week number six, you put $10 down. Week number nine, you put $10 down. And eventually, you get to a point that that television is paid off. That's how memorial prayers work. So I want to encourage you, keep praying. Keep praying. Keep building that memorial before the Lord. God is going to move on your situation. In the name of Jesus. All right, I see some prayer requests on here. Let me get to this. I've had a tooth infection since the eclipse. My face has been swollen. Woo! Amen, Sister Shannon. He that is with us is greater than he that is in the world. We have power over the enemy. Amen. Uh, okay. Pastor Ray, we almost read and decree Psalms. Yes, thank you, Dennis, for those. It's the occult. The word defeats them. All right. Amen, amen, amen. All right, let's, all right. So I, I want to go to uh, Brother Dennis. We're going to read Psalm 91. Um, Brother Wayne, yes, there's no enchantment against Jacob, neither is any divination against Israel. 23, 23. Isn't that interesting? The Lord showed me 23, Michael Jordan. I didn't I didn't tie this scripture to that, but that's very interesting. Uh, Jacob had a tooth infection, such a clip, swollen, out of work all week. This sucks. I have no fear. All right, Jacob, we lift you up right now. We bind that tooth infection. We bind the infection, demonic attacks in your life. We bind it in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name. And I bind every demonic attack against us, the church of the living God. We bind it in Jesus' name. We cast it out. We speak that there is no enchantment against Jacob. There's no divination against Israel. There's no enchantment and divination against us, the church, in Jesus' name. Let me tell you what also the, the enemy hates. You want to get the enemy out of his house? Quote Deuteronomy uh, 6.4. I can't believe that it is slipping my mind. One of the most powerful verses, it's the Shema. And here it is, Deuteronomy 6, 4. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. And Satan, you are not it. Satan got lifted up to be like God, but unfortunately for Satan, there's only room for one God, and he is not it in Jesus' name. He hates the blood. We speak the blood of Jesus is against every form of witchcraft coming against us right now. The blood of Jesus is against you in Jesus' name. I reverse every curse against every witch and warlock and sorcerer in Jesus' name. We reverse the curse in Jesus' name, and we're going to quote James right now. We submit unto the lordship of Jesus Christ. 
We submit. I submit myself, my family, our minds, hearts, will, emotions. We submit it all unto Jesus Christ. Now we resist the devil. We resist his witchcraft. And he must flee now in Jesus' name. All right, Ryan, I've prayed for my healing from my next injury, but the Lord delayed it for a child's moment. He said it was for his great glory. All right. Amen. Amen, Ryan. But we pray for you. We pray for complete healing from this injury in the name of Jesus Christ, that God would get greater glory in this situation in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Leah. Praying Psalms 91. All right, let's all right, let's let's pray Psalms 91. Brother Dennis said New King James. So I'm gonna go to the New King James. I like the New King James. Gets rid of the yees and the thous and the, the old English, which the original translation uh was inscribed in the 1600s. Psalms 91. All right. We're going we're gonna to pray this over everybody as our prayer right now in the name of Jesus. Let's all pray this. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Lord God, I pray for us, our families, each one of us. We, will, we decree and declare we are abiding in your secret place. And under your shadow, we are abiding right now in Jesus' name. We will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I trust. Surely he will deliver us from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He will cover us with his feathers and under his wings we will take refuge in the name of Jesus Christ. His truth shall be our shield and buckler. You shall not be, we will not be afraid for terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for pestilence that walks in the darkness, nor for destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at our side and ten thousand at our right hand, but it will not come near us. Only with our eyes shall we look and see the reward of the wicked because we have made the Lord who is our refuge, even the most high, our dwelling place. No evil shall befall us, nor shall any plague come near our dwelling. For he will give his angels charge over us. Lord, give your angels charge over us now, each one of us. Right now, give your angels charge in the name of Jesus to keep you in all your ways in their hands they shall bear us up lest we dash our foot against a stone you shall tread upon the lion and the cobra the young lion and the serpent shall we trample underfoot I'm going to stop right there for a second because there's another scripture in Luke 10 I believe verse 19 hallelujah for the Lord has given unto us power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all power of the enemy and nothing by any means shall hurt us we decree and declare that we have power and authority over this every serpent and scorpion in the name of jesus christ in jesus name verse 14 in psalm 91 because he has set his love upon me listen this is so powerful because we have set our love upon jesus christ therefore he will deliver us Praise God. Lord, we set our love upon you. We set our affection upon you right now in the name of Jesus. And we speak your deliverance in our life from Jezebel, from witchcraft, from demonic strongholds, from anything going on with this past solar eclipse. We decree and declare we are free from it now in Jesus' name. Because we've set our love upon you, we decree and declare your word. You have delivered us. You've delivered us from the stronghold of this eclipse, from the stronghold of the enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are delivered in Jesus' name. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me. We shall call upon him and he will answer us. He will be with us in trouble and he will deliver us and honor. He will deliver us and honor us. With long life, he will satisfy us and he will show us his salvation in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord God. We speak your deliverance upon everybody on here right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We speak your deliverance, Father. We speak your healing right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord God. 
Let's just pray right now. If you could pray in the spirit, pray in the spirit. Let's just intercede for each other right now in the name of Jesus. I know I could use some prayer and I'm, I'm and I'm on here to pray for y'all. So let's pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord God, you defeated Satan through your word. You said it is written. It is written that we submit unto you, that we are submitted unto you. We resist the devil. It is written that he must flee in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Hendrix, we pray for you right now that your book deal money would be returned. In the name of Jesus, that God would move on this book and get it out for you in Jesus' name. Thank you, Sister Shannon. In the name of Jesus, we bless you, Lord. We magnify you, Lord. I speak a covering over everybody on here right now. Cover us, Lord God. Cover us in your shadow, Lord God. Cover us under your wings, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Cover our families right now in the name of Jesus. So we reverse every curse coming against the church in the name of Jesus Christ. For there is no enchantment nor divination against the church of the living God. In the name of Jesus, we are covered in the blood. We are covered in the blood. The blood of Jesus is against you, Satan. The blood of Jesus is against you, witchcraft. The blood of Jesus is with you, dark arts and the occult. It is against you. We bind you in Jesus' name. We rebuke you in Jesus' name. We cast you down in the name of Jesus. We take authority over you in the name of Jesus Christ. For greater is he that is in me. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. We are overcomers. We are victorious in Christ. We are the head and not the tail. We are above and not beneath. We are accepted in the beloved. We are a triumphant church and we are walking in victory today. We are triumphing over the powers of darkness today in the name of Jesus. We are free from the attacks of the enemy right now. We are free in our mind, heart, soul, emotions, our health. We are free. We are healed and we are delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, every spell is broken in Jesus' name. Every cantation is broken now off of us in the name of Jesus Christ. So every seance is broken now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every curse is reversed now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every deceit is reversed in now in the name of Jesus Christ. We shut the mouth of the dragon and the liar right now in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now, Lord, I ask that you multiply peace, love, joy, and hope in each one of us and our families right now. Peace, love, joy, and hope. Bind us together with the bond of love. Bind our families together with the bond of love, which is the bond of perfection in Jesus' name. I am filled up with the joy of the Lord. I have the peace of God that passeth under all understanding to guard our minds and our hearts in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. April, we speak for your crypto account to be unsuspended right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We speak for it right now to be loosed in the name of Jesus, that God will bless it and unsuspend it right now in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Yes, back. Amen, amen, amen. The kingdom of God suffers violence, but the violent take it by force, by faith. Yes, yes, that word violence, it's an ardent zeal is what it means in the Greek. The kingdom of God suffers violence is an ardent zeal. It's a zeal, the zealous will take it. We gotta be zealous, Lord. Increase our zeal, our passion, our hunger, our thirst, our love for you, Lord God, for your presence and for your kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Yes, Jacob. Amen, amen, amen.
Thank you, Margaret. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, John E3. He who the sun sets free is free indeed. Decree and declare your freedom. I am free. I am free from every attack of witchcraft. I am free from the attacks of the enemy right now. I'm free from fear and anxiety right now. I am walking in the love and the peace of God. Decree it. The miracles in your mouth. I am walking in the love and the peace of God. The joy of the Lord is my strength right now from this day forevermore in the name of Jesus. We will be conduits of the presence of God, of his joy, peace, love, mercy, grace. We are conduits of it that when this world right now is going through it. If we're feeling it, you can imagine what they're feeling, that they're going through it, that they're going to turn to us for deliverance and for healing in the name of Jesus. And guess what? God has given us the authority. We're going to step out and greater. we're going to do greater things, the Lord says. Don't worry about all this. We got to shake it off. But if they're experiencing what we're feeling, how much worse are they feeling? And we could just lay hands on them and then we could testify to them. Maybe this, maybe these are the great miracles that we're going to see that are going to draw people to the living God. Pastor Greg, I heard we should have a VPN in 48 hours to the SEC. Wow, that's interesting. Hmm. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, Olga, yes, yes, let's let's pray. Lord Jesus, we pray it's supernatural. You supernaturally brought us to these coins, brought us together, this wealth transfer, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We know it's just a small part of what you're doing. I don't even want to focus on, on it anymore, Lord God, to be honest with you. But Lord, we pray supernatural protection over our internet connections, our wallets, our exchanges. Protect our coins, oh God, from being suspended, locked out. Lord, whatever is going to come to the rest of the world, oh God, supernatural, protect these so we will have and hold and be able to use for your kingdom what you've intended for us to have, hold, and be used for your kingdom. In Jesus' name. That's it. In Jesus' name. Hey, Win. I think I'm saying your, your name right, Win. Ooh, yes, the Holy Spirit seals us into the day of redemption, for we have the earnest inheritance. We have, that means that God has given us the down payment of his spirit, the earnest inheritance. All right. Lionel, great word. God has made us fishers and men. We catch, he cleans. That's right. Amen, amen. Chris on pressure, increasing ring of fire about to explode. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I feel it, guys. Oh, I'm so thankful coming on here and praying with you all. I feel it. I feel the prayers. I feel his presence. It's where we belong. Amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise be to God, praise be to God. Thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. I had some more on prayer, but we'll get into some more tomorrow. Talk about prayer for a couple of days, and we're going we're gonna to really focus on praying because this, this is what's going to win the battle. All right, all right, so we came on here. We saw the enemies increased his pressure. But guess what? We're going to increase ours. We're not going to sit back and take it. Greater is he that is in us than he that's in the world. We got these tools. We got these weapons. We got this authority, dominion, and power, and we are going to exercise it. If that's going to be our main focus as the church for a while, then so be it. So be it. We're not going to get walked on by the enemy. We're going to take authority and dominion, not only for us, but for our families, for the souls that we're reaching, for our churches, for our communities. If we don't take it, nobody will. God has given it to us. For I've given power unto you to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. That's including the Antichrist. There's a problem. The Antichrist can't rule and reign when we got all the power unless God goes against his word, which is impossible because his word is forever settled in heaven. His word is forever settled in heaven. How can he give us all power? To tread upon all of the enemy. All, A-L-L. -L. How much does all encompass? Everything. <laughs> I love it. Love the word of God. Love it, love it, love it. That's a message of hope right there. That's a message of hope. That's when we'll talk about the rapture. God will, God's going to come for his bride. 
Yes, brother Wayne. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. We turn every weapon against the enemy right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. Yes. Esther, love Esther, 88, amen. Courts are signed for us to enforce this decree. I seal Esther, 88, yes, amen. Plummet, God bless you, Plummet, yes. Um, Deuteronomy 818, he also gives us the ability to create wealth. I believe that's Deuteronomy 818 or Numbers 818. Amen, amen, amen. All right, y'all. Great praying with you all. Let's continue to keep each other in prayer. Pray throughout the day. Talk to the Lord. If names come to you, just lift them up before the Lord. Paul said, I make mention of you um, consistently or frequently. He says, I make mention of you. Just as names come, just lift them up before the Lord. All right. All right. I love you all. Praying for you all. So thankful to just come together and bind together as the army of the living God. Hey, Wendy, God bless you. And um, we're going from victory to victory, and prayer is the assignment. We are going from victory to victory, and prayer is the assignment. And I know we got 88 right now, 88 prayer warriors on here. Prayer warriors. Most powerful thing we can do is pray and decree the word. JKS, Deuteronomy 818. Awesome. God, it's God that gives us power for wealth. So, amen. Amen, amen. Justin Crane, God bless you, brother Justin. Yes, thank you, Sister Margaret. Continue to keep everybody in prayer. All right. All right, everybody, have a blessed rest of the day. I will see you all tomorrow in Jesus' name. Um, tomorrow's Friday. I got some more friends coming into Texas. Texas is a popular place, so... I got to go to the airport. I think they're coming in at night, but I want to come on. to. If I come on tomorrow, I would like to come on later just to give some, you know, to give more people a chance to come on. I know people are working during the day and stuff, and we do got people around the world coming on. I thank God for that. So we'll see. But uh, all right. God bless you all. Everyone have a blessed day in Jesus' name. Bye. The lighthouse, all right, I see that. I came in. We lift up your grandma in Jesus' name. We speak healing over your grandma in the name of Jesus Christ. Touch, heal, deliver his grandma right now in the name of Jesus. We speak life over your grandma in Jesus' name. All right, God bless you all.